So you guys remember how in the last video all of my in-game sounds were messed up because they were muted, right? Well this time the in-game sounds are perfectly fine, except now the mic sounds terrible. Long story short, I got a new mic and I thought I had it recording decently enough, but then I went back when I started to edit this video and realized how terrible it sounded, so I am trying to fix it in post, but it's not that easy. So I apologize for how terrible it sounds, I do get it sounding like this at the end, hopefully this is better than what you're about to hear. Still gonna keep working on it, but just wanted to give you that disclaimer because yeah, it doesn't sound great. But just ignore that, just pretend that it sounds fantastic, and yeah, enjoy the video. Look who's back already, it's ka -ching. I kinda wanna build ka -ching. and I need to still finish the event that now has, uh one day and nine hours left because we need to get the Xing Cho. So we're gonna do both of those. Well, I mean, I can't promise that Kaching's gonna be built by the end of this because she definitely won't be, but hopefully we can at least make some progress towards that. Look at this, look at how high you can get with the combination of Albedo and then Kaching. You could just get so high from the ground, it's amazing. If I were to put Geo Lumine on this team, we would have the ultimate domain skipping team. Also, I saw a bunch of people commenting saying that it's a good thing that we might not have gotten Ayaka because getting the Sakura Blooms would be so difficult. How would that be difficult? We have Electro Traveler, and even besides that, we can use the Electro Granum. But everyone keeps telling me, oh, it's gonna be so hard. Like, how are you gonna collect Sakura Bloom? You you just use your elemental skill, or click the Electrogranum, and then walk into them. It's not hard, unless I'm missing something. And that also reminds me, people were saying, oh, it didn't collect the moment of whatever from the Spiral Abyss. I don't have it. I'll go check the actual Spiral Abyss in a second, but there were a lot of comments like, oh, you didn't get the 2400 Primos. And I don't know if that just means the actual primos from clearing each floor because we collected those as we went along. But let's see, maybe I'm missing something here. I don't feel like I'm missing anything here. We've collected all of these as we went. There's nothing else to be gathered. Yeah, I'm guessing you all meant this because you get 300 per floor and there's eight floors, which is 2,400. Why were so many people saying that I forgot to collect them? I even showed in the videos, I collect them as I go. It's always funny when I read the comments because I can tell who watches and then who just skips to the end or skips around. What? I am inside the Oh, oh, I just glitched into the wall somehow. Huh? <laughs> Oh, and you can still get attacked while you're in the wall. That's cool. No, I like that feature. That's nice. What happens if I climb up in here? Am I just going to pop out on top? And here I am. <laughs> oh, and we fell back down. This is so annoying. Do we know when Kazuha is coming yet? Because in terms of value, I think Kazuha would be more valuable than Ayaka. But since it's swords only... Let's say Kazuha doesn't come for another three updates. Then it's better to go for Ayaka right now because that's more characters that we can use in Spiral Abyss, especially because we have guaranteed right now. So if Kazuha was say the next update, I would say, yeah, definitely. But I think we're getting Yelan or Yellen and Kuki. And that's probably why Hoyoverse finally gave me Kaching because we're gonna be getting a four star sword character that's Electro now. I just went and looked up what people have been dreaming about in terms of banner reruns. And I swear they all always say Kazuha is coming in the next update, but from some dreams I just did some research on, it looks like maybe 2.8, which is around June. So I'm curious if I should just pull for Ayaka, build up some pity, and if we somehow get lucky, we'll get Ayaka. Unfortunately for Kaching, we need so much Core Lapis. And I did already go around, I think two days ago, maybe three days, and I collected up as much as I could find. And from that, of course, we were able to ascend Kaching and get ourselves two more acquaint fates. Don't get your hopes up, we're only at 34 pity on this banner. Although, we are guaranteed to get a four star. Let's see if we could start this out with some luck. Nope. I actually just thought about something. We do have the new four star electro sword user coming up, I think in the next update. And obviously I'm gonna wanna try to get her. However, we have guaranteed pity right now. So with my luck, that would be the only time I actually get the five star early because that will be a bow user. So it genuinely might be smarter right now to pull on Ayaka's banner. That way, if we get a five star, it's guaranteed to be Ayaka. And then when we pull, 
for Kuki. Never gonna get over that name. Even if we accidentally get the five star, it won't matter because we're not wasting our guaranteed. That makes sense, right? Oh no. Oh no. No, I've fallen. No, what? Uh, game. Game. Stop. Stop, game. Stop it. That does not look natural. You know what's interesting? If you place down Albedo's E, it doesn't do that much damage. But if you apply Cryo and then place down his E, it destroys it. Even though it doesn't show that it's actually affected by Cryo, it is. Look, we do this, put this down. You see how much damage that did? Maybe this is a well-known thing that I'm just discovering and I'm very much behind, but I rarely have to go around and mine in Genshin unless a certain character requires it. So I did not know that that was a thing. Ready? Okay, look, if we go to our history on the right-up banner, our last pull was a five-star. We have zero pity, but if we do one wish, we actually get Ayaka right there. Ayaka is looking a little different today. I must have miscalculated. It had to be the second wish after getting a five. The third wish after getting a five star. Obvi the fourth wish after getting a five star is guaranteed to be another five star. Did you guys know that going around collecting a bunch of core lapis is not that fun of a process? Actually, no, I take that back. The process itself is fine. I genuinely don't mind it. But it's the fact that I'm trying to make a video and doing this takes a lot of time where I'm just sitting here and it's not going to be used in the video anyways. So to me, it's a waste of time. Please give me the purple, purple crystal. No, I never, I never get these, but the purple rarity. I don't know why. I've always had to craft them. Well, just over one hour later, we can go ahead and ascend Kaching again. And of course, for doing so, we get another free wish. But with this wish, we will get ourselves a Kaching C1. Okay, well, you know, that would have been kind of cool. It's not like her C1's great. I think her C4 and her C6 are the most valuable, but whatever. So now with Kaching Ascended, we're gonna go ahead and get our Xingqiu Constellation, which I think we only need to do this. We have to get at least 1500 points on Springtide Advent. But of course, I'm just gonna go ahead and do both of them because free Primo Gems. Wow, that was by far the easiest one of all of them. Don't mind if I do. Oh, wait. We can get 30 more Primos from each of these if we get 1500 points in the Horde mode. I mean, it's not like it's a hard game mode, but going through all of those and getting up to 1500, then waiting till it finishes, it's it's gonna take a while. But here's our Xingqiu. Mom, can we have a Yaimiko? No, we have Yaimiko at home. Yaimiko at home. I love how for this event, every quest is in the way of every other quest. Also, Venti, you don't really belong here. I know I said this last time, but sword, 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 bow. Venti, sorry to say, but you gotta go. Ancient forging blueprint, and it looks like a sword? I'll take two. But luckily for us, we can go ahead and get our Ayaka now. Okay, Goro just got lucky two times in a row. If Goro does this and he wins, he, he won. He won the grand prize. So does this mean Goro is just incredibly lucky? He's just the foil of Bennett quest? Complete. So what is remaining in this event? This. Let's see. We did everything. Cool. This one is the one that we could still go through and get 30 more per stage. This one we got all the primos for, and this one we got all the primos for. So all that's left is 1500 points in each one of the horde versions of this game. I'm just gonna go ahead and do these off camera because I don't think they're all that entertaining to watch. So uh, yeah, I'll be back after I do all these. Well, that was very tedious and very boring, but we did manage to go through and get enough points to claim up the rest of these rewards. So with all of that done, we now have enough Primo Gems for another wish. But as we just learned, Goro is extremely lucky. So I'm not using him, it's still sword only, I know. But if we just put him on the team and we just see how lucky Goro really is. Okay, you know what, we got a purple. 
and I don't think we were at pity for a purple. I know it's not a character we can use, but we did still get a purple. I take that back. We were at pity for a four star. It was not luck whatsoever. I should run this team because this is the SSS. The Short Sword Squad. What is our C1, by the way? Oh, okay, more Rain Swords. That's nice. More healing. I think we're gonna try to build this team up. I'm hoping that she has some of these, which she doesn't. Well, that's unfortunate. Bennett's weapon is going to have to wait, which means she is very low attack for right now. And we all know low attack on Bennett is just great, right? Now, if you're wondering why I took Kaya off the team, it's because I saw a comment on the last video that made a lot of sense. If I was going for a physical Kaching, it would make sense to have the superconduct between Kaya and Kaching. But because we're going for Electro, this team makes a bit more sense. Obviously, we could swap out one of them for Kazuha if we ever do get him on this account. But basically, this is an Electro charge team. Or at least it will be once I build it correctly. The problem with using Xingqiu and Kaya is that we're able to freeze a lot of stuff which is, you know, that's great. But because we have Albedo on the team, we're always just breaking the enemies out of that freeze anyways. So using something like this, we don't care if we're getting that geo damage in there. All of those crystallizes don't really affect us. Plus, Albedo allows us to boost our EM. Bennett's there for some more attack and heals. And then Xingqiu and Kaching are able to do the supercharge comp. I think I know what I want to do after this. First things first, we need to take out a few Ruin Guards so we can actually upgrade Xingqiu's weapon. So let's test this out a little bit. This isn't really a great damage test, but we'll see. I mean, it's damage. It's not the most damage, but it is damage. But you know what? The less damage we do now, now, the bigger the improvement it'll be once we actually build these characters up. I did go through as well and tried to rework Xingqiu's artifacts just a little. They're not great. It didn't exactly roll how I wanted. Then again, should I be surprised? He could use more crit for sure, but at least he has a full Severed Fate set. He's on attack, which I know it's not maxed. Actually, I really should just max that, but you see our problem. <laughs> That's the only artifact we have for power-ups because I literally just got it. So yeah, we need to farm more. Then I have a Hydro Damage piece. Luckily, this can be an offset and it had crit rate and crit damage. Most of it went into Elemental Mastery, which is good and bad. And then we got to roll in the flat defense. And then I just slapped a crit rate piece. It's not great, but it's crit rate. So it's slightly better. Many Ruin Guards later, we got exactly enough to ascend the sword again. Now we have absolutely nothing towards the final ascension, but that's okay. So now moving on to what I said before about I knew what I wanted to do after we did that. Look at our Albedo. If we want to ascend him, I mean, these are easy enough to get. These are easy enough to get, and I should go collect those again. These are not as easy for us to get. I mean, yes, I could go fight some of the other bosses besides Geo Hypostasis, but if we also need these, it's just more efficient to fight Geo Hypostasis. As we've already learned in previous sword only videos, fighting Geo Hypostasis with swords only is not fun. Whether I try and use Geolumin and Albedo, or if I try to plunging attack using Albedo's elemental skill, there is no way for us to do it quickly. We can beat it safely, it just takes a very long time. That is with the exception of co-op. If we go in co-op, and we get some other people to join us with swords only, then fighting it is a very quick process. So, maybe we'll take a little trip onto co-op. Oh wow, I requested to join one world with two people in it as my first attempt to get into a world in co-op and they accepted. Ah, well, it looks like one of the people left already. All right, so Kana here is our first little helper of the day. Everyone's always very hesitant when I say we're gonna beat this with swords only because I think that they're under the impression you need claymores to destroy the towers, but that's not the case. All right, so it's definitely faster with three to four people, but it shouldn't be too terrible. Yeah, I mean, they, they still go down decently quick. Well, that was an interesting zoom in. <laughs> All right, there is our first clear done. We're gonna have to do this quite a lot, aren't we? Geo Hypostasis round two. That's so weird. If you're in the sky when it does that attack, you still get hit. There's our second time of beating this boss. 
And there is the third time of taking this thing down. Oh, we actually got one? That's crazy. I'm gonna say this now because I know there's gonna be comments about it. Yes, I can craft some of these. I think I can craft about three or four, and if I combine all of the topaz pieces, I'm sure I can make enough, but I'm gonna need more to get him to max ascension anyways, so it's just smarter to farm them. If I'm missing like one later, maybe I'll craft it, but overall, I'd rather just keep going in co-op and see if we can get some more. This is unheard of. I once again sent a request to one person and they accepted immediately. Now we just have to hope that they're down to do a bit of swords only geohypostasis. What? am I looking at? Are we supposed to be able to see this? Oh, and I'm gonna guess we're not supposed to be able to see this. New 3.0 Subaru leaks. We are outside of the chasm. Oh, we can walk down here? What the heck did I just stumble into? Huh, well I know it's safe to walk wherever they walk. If I see them fall through the floor, then I know not to step there. This is not what I was expecting to be doing, but I am so down to explore this area. It's weird that all this is coated in. Like this, there's a structure that's destroyed there. And then something up there. I'm guessing that that glowing thing is this area. This is weird. Oh, it looks like we're climbing this, huh? Okay. <laughs> this is just such a weird picture. Three random players in co-op, all just climbing up the out of bounds side of the map. This is so weird. Oh, I see what they meant when they asked if we can climb to the top. They mean that. What is this game? I mean, I know every game has its bugs. I'm not knocking it for that. It's just so funny. Oh, look at that wall. These are not textures you'd expect to see in Genshin. But the white line of doom. <laughs> it's the rift between worlds. It's, huh. I'm just gonna save that. Oh, we can climb that? There's no way you're making it. I don't know if, are we gonna have enough stamina for that though? Oh, uh oh, oh yeah, I don't think we can climb that unless we have food for stamina. I don't think we can make it up that. I have two restore 50 stamina dishes and that's it. Look at the little riding shogun all the way up there. <laughs> She's going. All right, ka-ching, let's ascend. I don't know that we're gonna be able to make it all the way up there, but uh, we're gonna give it our best shot. This is quite the ways up. <laughs> Look at how stupid this is. I'm taking a picture of that. That's just great. We made it. The first peak has been ascended. Uh-oh. Well, by me. I am the sole survivor right now. Oh, here comes the Raiden. The Raiden is about to join me. Now, can we keep going up from here? I think I can. If I get on this and we climb up here oh we're going up we are going up which peak do we want to try to ascend to the one up there or the one there Kaching's face looks so dumb from this angle. <laughs> I think this is one of my favorite co-op sessions just because of this. Like, I, I came here for Geo Hypo and now we're doing this. So our goal is the top of this mess. I don't even know if we could get all the way up there. We probably could if we go on the inside. It looks like it might be flat. There's, uh-oh. Paimon just said there's nothing here. All of us are just in agreement. Like, shut up, Paimon. <laughs> we're on our way to Sumeru. All right, and... Oh, 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 that was bad, that was bad. But I think I should be okay. It's just gonna be a very difficult climb here. Just keep jumping, just keep jumping and you're fine. Oh my gosh, it's getting so green up here. It's like a nuclear waste zone. We are but moths heading towards the light. I'm afraid there won't be anywhere to stand up here. Oh no, my concern was kind of right. No, 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 no. Okay, this could be an issue. Paimon, stop it. No one wants to listen to you. I'm touching it. We've touched the light. We've gone through the light. <laughs> okay. Oh, geez, it's so bright. Can I? Whoa. Oh. <gasps> okay, careful. Very careful. I think we could stand on top of this piece here. Oh my gosh. Where in the heck are we? <laughs> this does not look right. I already had a thumbnail idea for this video, but now I'm not so sure. Yeah, that's a ka -ching. check your map. Maybe there's something on there that we can use. So now our goal is that thing. I mean, I wanna be on top of it, but <laughs> this is just wrong. I don't know how the heck we're gonna get up this. This might take quite a while. Oh, geez, that is bright. Who turned on the sun? Oh, <laughs> hello, ka -ching. It's so 
right. There's just a pull. Oh my gosh. We found heaven. Oh, I am so taking a picture here. Will this be the thumbnail? Maybe. You guys know better than I do. Oh my gosh. That is so bright. Oh, it's like, oh, this is so weird. This looks like such a pain to climb. Also in chat, they said we're gonna get banned by Hoyovers. Uh, no, as, as long as someone doesn't just, you know, put this on YouTube or anything, we should be perfectly fine. Please tell me I can climb this. Uh, yeah, this, uh, I know we were trying to ascend Albedo. This kind of takes priority right now. Because how many times can you do this? We can ascend Albedo anytime, but this, oh my gosh. All right, I shouldn't go down here because this is losing progress, but it might be a good picture, which could be a good thumbnail. So I need to go check. No, not quite the right thumbnail. I want to see all the way up. <gasps> oh, we could see all the way up, but this is a terrible angle to take a picture of the character from. Well, there's a nice picture. Oh, geez, look at that. Saving that. Okay, it appears one of our comrades has made it to the top, which means it is possible. I guess this peak over here is the top? No, we found him. Hello, friends. Is this heaven? That is a very interesting picture. <laughs> well, that was one of the longest co-op experiences I've ever had. After we ascended all the way up there, they all wanted to keep swapping to the same character and trying to take pictures and doing it over and over and trying to time it when everyone had different pings. So anyways, let's go back to trying to find people to defeat the Geo Hypostasis with. What did I just join into? Well, they don't want to fight it because they don't have resin to claim the drops. So, I guess we're going to a different world. Remember what I said about not wanting to just come Combine all of these because it wasn't as efficient. Well, I'm tired of trying to get into co-op worlds. So now all we need to do is gather up some of these scrolls and we'll be set. Okay, farming done. Now, ascend albedo. Finally. That took way longer than I thought it was going to. Mostly because of that whole glitching out of the boundaries of the map thing. But now Xing Cho is the only one on our current team who isn't at the same ascension level. And I really do not feel like doing that one. Allow me to apologize for a moment. It has been over a day since the last recordings were done because I went to start editing the video, as you do, and I, I heard the audio from my microphone. And oh boy, it was bad. I had it at a point where I thought, you know, okay, it's decent enough. I can at least start recording again. Yet, yeah, no, that, that wasn't really the case. But yeah, I, uh, I was very wrong. So I'm going to try to fix that up in post-processing a bit. Apologies for uh, how bad the audio is in this. Like I said, I'm still making tons and tons of changes to try to get the mic sounding the way I want it. Right now, it's, it's a little closer. Is it perfect? Perfect? Absolutely not. So this is now three days where I haven't been really recording or uploading because I've just been trying to work on the sound of the mic. So I apologize to both you and your ears. I also had a little bit more time to think about our current wishing situation because I did go back and I was starting to edit up this video and I heard what I said earlier in it. I was talking about the whole idea of we pull now, try to get Ayaka to, you know, actually use the 50 50 for a character that we want and i'm gonna need all of your opinions about what i should do here because i also thought a little more and if i keep spending wishes on aika's banner and i don't get her that means i'm closer to pity on the banner that'll have the new four star sword character and if i'm close to pity on there i obviously do not want to pull so i'm not really sure what i should do regarding that whichever one i do will be wrong, so it probably doesn't even matter. But if you've somehow made it this long in the video with the atrocious audio quality, first off, thank you. Second off, feel free to throw your ideas or thoughts down in the comments. So of course, I'm going to continue to try and tweak audio settings until I am happy with it. I hope you guys aren't too bothered by how terrible it sounded earlier and maybe even still now. But with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy. And as always, I will see you guys next time.